Okay, <clears throat> got the length of the push rod set here. Got the new nut on there. Made it fit a quarter inch wrench. And I see now what I should have done was I should have made those boards that I made. I should have made four of them instead of just two because, well, actually, do I need to put it in a board, this one? Yeah, I want to put it in a board. So, I will have to make two more boards. I'll just take a piece of uh, stock here and uh, actually I might have some stock that doesn't have copper clad it's it doesn't have copper clad it's just uh, like a blank and I could put the wires across instead of waiting to digging out the the etching stuff I'm gonna take a look and see if not, I wonder how much sanding there would be to take this off. I just hate digging out the etching stuff and for this little bit. It just hmm. Darn it! <laughs> I wasn't thinking ahead, but I, I'm pretty sure I have some. Oops. I'm pretty sure I have some uh, board that I'm looking in my top drawer of my cabinet here right now. I thought that that's where I had seen it. Hmm. Ain't looking promising. Looking promising at all. Can't imagine I would put it anywhere else. Oh, here it is. Oh, it's way thicker. I don't want to use that. So, I guess I'll spend the evening and make this board and then, uh, and I'll come back. I'll print out a couple more and. Could tip it upside down too, and put them through this way. I don't want to do that. Well, I'm gonna go and uh, print out a couple and transfer the. Design over onto here and and make another one. So, got the paper here yet <laughs> that I used. So, I guess I'll be back when I get the boards made and soldered up. And what I'm going to do is make a bracket down in under here, underneath. It'll come out and stick out over here. I could make it here, but the spring is in the way there. It be should be nice to be able to drop down right here. I could get rid of that spring because I really don't think I need that spring to tell you the truth. But then again, about the time I do that, I'll need that spring. So no, I'll just it'll be just like a finger sticking out here with that board mounted to it right here and then a uh, uh, magnet holder will come down from here so that when I am sitting with the valve open like that 
it's pulled away. Boy, I'm gonna have to do some timing with that. I'll, I'll have to uh, make sure that I got these where it attaches down here slotted so that I can adjust it. Because that's gonna be pretty touchy on this small engine. It's not got, it doesn't have a lot of movement. So. I'll figure it out though. So anyway, that's gonna be it for videos for today. I'll be back. Catch you later. Okay, I have my little sketch hung up on the uh, mill here. And uh, <clears throat> we're gonna make it out of that piece of plastic here and and uh and so the first thing I want to do is the length of it is one inch six hundred. And I got I'm gonna make two right away, so one inch six hundred down. Get my calipers here. Got two scales laying here. Um one inch six hundred. And width is 400, so I need 800 at least. So I'm going to mill the end of this off a little bit. Make this a little wider here. <clears throat> so let's see how I'm going to do this. Probably set on this surface and mill this down to uh, that tangent point there. So, get all the, the burrs off of it, and uh, we'll set that down in here on the parallel, and we'll have to use a couple parallels in order to so I got one like that, and then one like, and then the other one will sit there like this, on top of it to clamp it. So, just so you know what's going on here in the vise. So that one sits there, and this one goes out in front of it, and down on the vise on the um, parallel. So that way I can zip across that. And I got a half inch collet in there and got a half inch in the land here. Stick that in there. You know what? I think I'm gonna turn this light out once. Since I really don't need it when I'm not doing any work that I need to see real well. <laughs> and I think the camera will pick that up a little bit better. I'm going to move you to the other side, over here, and this is just plastic that I'm about to mill, it's uh, I'm not sure what type of plastic, but it's, it's a, it's a plastic, so I just want to come down to this tangent, I'm just, this is a piece of scrap that, Can't push too hard with your burr knife on this plastic, it'll start to gouge in and take way more material than what you want. Alright, 
So I just want to mill across here and straighten that out. And then we'll get two parts on it side by side here, hopefully. Yes. I'm actually more than half the vise and should have been clamping on the whole surface, but sometimes that happens. Well, it's plastic, you know, it's, it's just, uh, <laughs> Not something that you can clamp real tight. All right, so there it is, like that. Um, there's got to be 400 thou wide. So I think I'm going to get a slitting saw and or a woodruff cutter and <clears throat> cut that in half. Use my band saw but then I gotta set it up for uh, it's chopped it's for uh, it's chopped now so I'd have to set it up for vertical and I just don't want to do it. So we'll do this. We'll stick one of these in there and we should get away with it. I'm gonna scratch lines on here. Scratch some lines here, and they want I want them at 400 thou wide. So I want to make sure that I end up with 400 wide material. And I can see that one, and I could just put the cutter somewhere in between that, and I'll be in business. Let's get. Uh, yeah, this won't. To go far enough. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, see, that's too low. Too low. So. This one. How about this one? Oop. Almost need to turn the light on now so I can see. Uh, too low yet. Need to be taller than that. Okay, how about this one? That one will work. And bring our cutter over here. Bring her down. through but that's fine it's thin enough now I can just cut it with a razor blade don't need that Razor blade. 
Oop. Cut right through that. We want to have 400 thou left. So I'm going to take this out of there. Put this parallel in there. Making the static electricity in this plastic is making it kind of hang up everywhere. Okay, a side that I deburred down. Same thing here. Oop. I want that parallel to kind of sit in the middle so it grabs both, so I can get both pieces on it. Half inch cutter back in. Lock her down. We are at 420. Go 20 thou. 10, 20. And put that back in there. Hold that down. Oop. Lengthwise, one inch six hundred long. I'm going to put some red, some red dicom on them, so that I can <clears throat> see the scratch line because. On that white, it's kind of hard to see. So, we're gonna put some red stuff on them. Now, I've always used the red instead of the blue. <clears throat> and I don't know if it's my imagination or what, but the red seems like it's off. When you put it on, it's thinner than the blue. The blue is a little thicker and doesn't leave as, I say it doesn't leave as crisp a line as the red stuff. Now, I might be all wet, I don't know. But I've, I've used that forever, <laughs> the red stuff. I had the blue stuff and I wasn't happy with it, so. Come on, dry. All right, one inch six hundred. I'm going to 
I'll put a line on there and then I'll chop them off here. There. Looking at which side I milled off. Mine's 600. Right. So I'll put this on this side over here. Twenty-five thousand. You should have put a stop on there instead of. Yeah, I think I will. I think I'll slide a stop up on that. Yeah, these marks in this stop were made, uh, you know, this undercut here and this corner champ. That was made many, many, many years ago. <laughs> and uh, that was back when I was doing some prototype on an NC machine and got away from me. <laughs> on a tree mill, a journeyman tree mill. I used to love that machine that had uh, uh, A axis or indexing head for it. thing we want to do is put the slot in there. I think I want to put the slot in before I... Well, maybe I want to cut this down first before I put the slide or put the slot in it. Because what we want left is 250 and we are at 400 so we want to go down to 250 right there. Actually I wouldn't have to thin that out but I'm just going to do that. And 750 back. 750. So, can I get above my stop with that? If I put them both in there. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. I can get above the vise, so maybe I'll turn it around and go like that. Two fifty. And then seven fifty. This one wasn't dry. I got fingerprints all all over it. <laughs> that don't matter. That doesn't matter. Open that up a little bit more. Now, I want to try to keep them straight across from each other. This really isn't all that critical. It's more or less looks than...
anything else. And I do have a big radius in there. I if I want. And that doesn't really matter either. I'm just going to go ahead and, <clears throat> and forget about the radius. So, we're at 400 there. And we want to go to 250. So... Three hundred, and then, whoops, two fifty, right there. I'm gonna come up and talk to you and go over seven fifty. Now we got slot left to do. I should check out my boards. I got the, my boards in uh, the acid. The acid is pretty cold, so it's doing. It's going pretty slow. I got the light bulb on and trying to warm it up, and it, <coughs> it's down to. Well, it gets like I say, it gets down to 50 degrees about here in the shop so so now I want to pick up the edge I think of the vise and move over the 250 and then build a slot so so let's get let's get cracking here <laughs> the, the edge finder I'm just going to type in x minus 0.1. Whoops, what happened here? Uh, x minus, ah, uh, I can't go a minus, uh, so I, I got to put in the number first, 0.1 minus. No. Hmm. I've never come across that on the, on my readout. If I pot, try to punch in a minus, it won't let me. It will, would not let me do it. Minus point one. Hmm. Well, that's odd. wonder if I hit the plus or minus. X. Ah, oh, there we go. Point one. Enter. There we go. So, we're at minus one. We want to go to uh, 125, so we just need to move out 25,000 more. Oops, I did that on... Boy. Were you listening to me? I went to X. Y minus point one. <sighs> All right, what's going on here?
There we go. So now we just go 25. I am totally backwards here. Hmm. All right, well, trying to figure out my readout here. I have never had, had it uh, do this. I must have uh, accidentally hit. I got my numbers turned around here. Or the the directions turned around. I'm going. It's telling me plus instead of minus. So I don't know. So I'm just going to zero it there. And now we need to come over in. So if I put it in this way come up against that stop it's 41 thou 140 thou from the end of that stop so Or, I know, I know, we'll just take a block here that's a 500 block. Slide that up against the stop. And we'll come down and pick that up. there so we're sitting at <coughs> actually 600 x six we want to go to 140 size screws I put in there. Where did my shield go from that? Stop. Well, I'm going to cut away here and go see what size screw I put in, screws I put in that. Because I don't want to mill that slot oversized and then the screw heads <laughs> go in. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay, I've got a 93.5 or 938 uh, uh, end mill in there, 330 seconds end mill. And we'll see if we can cut that slot. And the slot is 491. Wow.
think that makes it fun with you. Get a 440 screw here, make sure. Make sure that we got her. Yep, perfect. Almost perfect. So, one down. And clean that up with a razor blade, and it should look pretty good. Let's see if we can do it again. Get the parallel out of there. Crank her into zero on the Y. Crank it over to zero on the X. And we'll go part way through. All I need to do is take a razor blade and clean up, clean it up. When I put the screws in there, they'll have little stainless washers on them, so it feels pretty solid. I was concerned that it might not be solid enough, but it's plenty solid. I could have made it thinner, but <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and clean them up and uh, mount one on there. And we got to kind of wait for the the to go any further on these we need to wait for the circuit board but because i'll have to do like i did when i mounted the circuit board on the other mill a spot a little pocket in here for where the soldering fits into and then put a couple screw holes in and then uh like but i'm going to start working on the magnet holder next so i'm going to go clean these up mount mount them and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, round up material for the magnet holders and then I'll be back. <laughs> 